What's going on everyone? Mike from The Pipe Doctor, 516-348-6300. We're based in Valley Stream, New York. And today we are in College Point, Queens. You can see the bridge over there. We're in College Point, Queens. Working for my buddy Steve at Pacific Lawn Sprinklers. Shout out to Pacific Lawn Sprinklers. They do awesome irrigation systems and holiday lighting for your residence or your commercial property. Today we're working on a train, 150,000 BTU YCH150 commercial rooftop unit. We've got a few issues wrong. Number one, we have a bad igniter, hot surface igniter. Well, yeah, we definitely do. <laughs> um, we're only getting 80 volts out of the heating control module. And to top it off, we're getting voltage to the inducer motor, but it's not running and the capacitor is okay. So we're gonna change out, I already changed out the hot service igniter. We're gonna change out the inducer fan assembly and the heating control board. And we'll start this bad boy up. Stay tuned, part two. Replacing the uh, the seal, the O-ring. I took a brush and I cleaned this off. It was filthy. Also, that screen right there, that was filthy as well. I took a little wire brush. I cleaned that off. And uh, again, I'm just gonna make sure that the surface is clean and does not have anything that's gonna interfere with a good seal. Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna take our new inducer assembly with the new ring and install that. All right, we have the new inducer motor assembly in. Connect through the gas valve, clean the plate, we put a new gasket in. We have our new hot surface igniter in, and we have our new control board. The relay is a little bit different, as you can see. And uh, right now we have the uh, steady heartbeat flash. If you look in the service facts, you'll see that means normal operation. And uh, shortly we should have ignition. Right now. There you go. Got a lot of crap coming out of the exhaust holes. But we got ignition, it's kind of hard to see. You got a commercial rooftop unit, whether it's train, carrier, Lennox, whatever make and model you got, Pipe Doctor could fix it. We are service and repair specialists. So if you got no heat, you need heat, give us a call. 516-348-6300. And if you found this video informative, the only real tip I can give you is this was dead. And I cleaned off the plates, put a new gasket in. But in essence, with uh, the sequence of operation, you have a call for heat, right? The, you know, as long as your safety circuit is all, all good to go, your inducer motor will power up, all right? And this one gets, I believe, I could be mistaken, but I believe it gets 240 volts, but it wasn't getting any power whatsoever. Sorry, it was getting power, and it was 240 volts, and it wasn't running at all, and the motor was actually hot to the touch when I was here last week to diagnose at the water parts. So, sequence of operation, you have a call for heat, the safety circuit is good, you roll out, things like that, high limits and uh, switches, the inducer motor powers up, all right? It just proves itself that it's running. Then we have 110 volts to the hot surface igniter, then 24 volts to the gas valve to open up. And if it senses flame, we're good. If it doesn't sense flame, it turns off. And on your control, you'll be flashing two times on that LED light. So, nice service call right here. You know, got the uh, inducer motor assembly, control.
control board, hot service igniter, nice service call for the pipe doctor, and another satisfied customer. Big shout out to Steve at Pacific Lawn Sprinklers. Thank you so much, bro. Love you.